What's up Aquarius? This is your love forecast for the second half of January. That's January 15th through till the 31st. This is for my Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up with me as I do. Also, guys, I do offer one on one readings and all the info for that is in the description box of the video. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in, please, for my Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the area of love, second half of January. Any love messages for my Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, second half of January? What can you tell my Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus is coming in for them in the area of love, second half of January? Seven of Swords, Two of Swords, Chariot card, Empress, Hierophant card. Damn, okay, Aquarius, we've got the Two of Swords, so there's a sense of stagnancy here. There's a sense of, I don't know how to move forward from this situation. I need to make a choice. I need to make a decision. I'm blind to how to move forward. Okay, the blindfold is on. Or there's something that you're not quite seeing, okay? It's like you can't, you don't have all the facts or you don't have clarity, right? Now the seven of swords to me means that there is a situation here where you're feeling like you don't know if you can trust it. Maybe you have been dealing with someone where there was some deceit or dishonesty, um, you know, or you've kind of though not really been able to see it until now. It's like something hasn't been revealed and now all of a sudden there's a situation presenting where you're like, okay, I'm feeling like I can't trust this, okay? With the chariot card, you could be dealing with someone that lives at a distance, that's just some of you. And for others of you, this is all about movement moving forward. So you've been quite stuck and I feel like you're coming unstuck. Um, tell me a bit about that. Yeah, the Justice card and the Ace of Cups. With the Two of Swords, also Aquarius, um, it could be that you have to make a choice or a decision. And the Justice card is also a card about decisions. It's about, um, it's also about fairness, okay? So it could be that there's a situation arising now for you in the second half of January that's call it causing calling for a sense of um, fairness and balance. And I do feel like Aquarius, it might have to do with you making the right choice for you. Now, um, it could be you've been dealing with a situation where you feel like things were unfair um, because perhaps there was some behavior that you felt wasn't, wasn't right, wasn't justified. And the Ace of Cups for me means you could be moving forward, Chariot card onto some kind of a new love beginning, maybe elsewhere. I've got the Eight of Wands here, which is about movement. The two of swords here is like, you know, maybe having to choose between two people. And the eight of wands means that there could be someone moving towards you very quickly for some kind of a new brand new beginning. Okay. Um, tell me about this seven of swords. Okay. Seven of pentacles. Great. And the queen of cups. Okay. So Aquarius, there's an existing situation, as I said, where I feel like you may have invested in, but it's like you haven't yet got the return on your investment. Seven of Pentacles, you've been waiting to see how things play out. I feel like this person, they have your heart, Queen of Cups. Um, you're emotionally tied to this person. But as I said, it's almost like someone in this connection sort of sneaks away from their emotions or there's some sort of underhanded behavior here that you're intuitively feeling. And it's sort of why things are not developing. Okay, um, but you still feel like you haven't been able to move forward. Page of Swords, you've been thinking about it quite a lot, okay? analyzing the situation. Um, and the Eight of Swords and feeling quite trapped, feeling like you can't move forward. It isn't moving forward or you can't move on. Your hands are tied. Um, yeah, okay. But we have the Empress and the Hierophant here. So as I said to you, I think that What's happening here, Aquarius, is you are breaking free and moving forward. I think something else is presenting. You're going from stuck energy to something moving very, very fast with that eight of wands and the chariot. The empress is about growth and expansion. I think you are focused on you know, long-term commitments, traditional values. This is the marriage card. Um, so I do feel like you're sort of, what I'm getting, Aquarius, is you're breaking free from a situation that you're realizing now intuitively might not be going to come to fruition, okay? The way that you had desired. Maybe you're realizing it's not for you, but through that, you're learning a lesson about your value and your worth. That's the Empress energy. You're realizing that, you know, you maybe you deserve more. And the Empress and the Hierophant card means that I feel there's a new situation coming in, Ace of Cups, a brand new love beginning that's gonna be far more balanced and fair, okay? Now, Justice card can be about karmic lessons. So perhaps there's been a situation you've been stuck on there was some 
difficult lessons that you had to learn. That's Empress energy, that growth and expansion, growing pains you've had to go through in order to reclaim your worth and your value. And in doing that, the universe has lined you up with something new, Eight of Wands, okay? Tell me a bit more about this Ace of Cups, this new beginning. Knight of Swords, okay? And it's gonna involve you having to make a pretty um, abrupt decision. Now, it, you, I feel like you might still be tied to someone here with that Two of Swords, but it's not moving and you could be making a decision, Knight of Swords, to abruptly cut something away so that you can move forward. And this is gonna be very quick energy, okay? After you've been stuck, hanged man for some time with one foot in and one foot out with respect to a person, because as I said, Ace of Pentacles, this is a brand new commitment, not just in love, but in commitments. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and this is the offer coming in, okay? I think you've been doing some heavy soul searching, um, hermit energy. Um, I do feel like there is someone that has your heart. As I said, I think you're currently connected to a person, King and Queen of Cups, where there's a lot of, there's an emotional tie, but there's outside energies and competition here, Five of Wands, okay? So that could be what's connected to this sense of distrust um, between you and this person or certain behaviors um, that keep the connection from pro progressing the way you'd like it to progress. And the Four of Cups, it's led to a feeling of, either emotional um, rejection or that you don't know if you want the cup anymore. Okay, Aquarius? So something within your intuition is telling you that perhaps this isn't for you. All right, um, I'll just get some psychic oracles for you. I do feel like you have this brand new beginning coming in Aquarius and I think it's gonna be better than what you could imagine. So let's see some advice from spirit for you. <laughs> Sorry, this one had to come out. The death card transformation. Okay, so there is an ending coming in for you, Aquarius, but with endings come brand new beginnings. And also this is about personal transformation. So you have had to learn some difficult lessons. Um, that's strong Scorpio energy. I don't know if I said the signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, we have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong Libra, strong Taurus. Yeah, um, okay, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Sorry, guys, if I repeat myself, sometimes it's just very early in the morning and I lose my track. Okay, so temptation, interesting. So you are ending a situation. I feel like with this devil card, that's been very hard to let go of. You're releasing things that are not serving you anymore. The devil card can be unhealthy attachments, toxic situations. Um, and I feel like you are breaking free from that. Solar plexus chakra, you're reclaiming your sense of power and your worth and confidence, okay? Um, what else? lover's card okay well i do feel like you have a strong connection with someone i feel that you're now choosing you the lover's card is about choices it's also potentially that you need to choose between two people as i said with that two of swords there's a choice that needs to be made um soulmate energy so i do feel that you know perhaps you have had a strong connection with a person but maybe there were a lot of karmic difficult lessons tied to that and i think that now you're sort of opening yourself up to someone um you know, that's really aligned more with you and what you're really wanting in life, okay? And that's the lover's card. So someone's coming in that's gonna give you also harmony. So as you release what's not serving you, devil, you're restoring harmony for yourself, okay? Someone that's on the same page. Because mental conflict, guys, I can't make it up. So two of swords energy again. So this is you being very stuck. Um, so you now, you know, you're getting those intuitive hits that it's time to close out things that are creating conflict for you because fulfillment of wishes, recognition and reward, emotional withdrawal, guys. So your fulfillment of wishes, so letting go of things that are blocking you from your true wishes, recognition and reward. There's someone coming in that's really going to recognize you and your worth. Emotional withdrawal, this is eight of cups energy as you walk away from things that don't serve you, that have caused you a lot of stress and anxiety, suffering in silence, nine of swords energy. And then you've got partnerships and alliances. So you're calling in people that really align with your values and your worth, okay? A particular person. I think you guys have a strong soul connection presenting. Um, so that's, that's good, okay? All right, Aquarius, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, as I said, and I will check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.